Hello, I'm Sherry with Red Apple Auctions, and I don't often talk about consignment packages for auction galas. However, I, something is so new here that I thought it would be worth sharing with you. And so today's video segment, blog, is going to be talking about this package. And just to give you a little bit of background, usually in your auctions, it's going to be better if you can get items donated instead of having to invest in purchasing something. However, there are advantages to purchasing a package that you can sell, whether that's everything from sports memorabilia to jewelry to trips and experiences and so forth. And one of the advantages of using consignment is that, well, besides the ease, you just have to select something from a catalog. Besides that is that you can sell multiples of it in your auction. And so from that standpoint, you can actually make quite a bit of money, especially if you're selling quite a few things. But then also this year, because of COVID-19 putting such a disruption into our auction galas, the nice thing about using consignment this year is the normal channels that you may have used to get items in the past may not be available to you. And perhaps businesses have closed. You still want to have a nicely curated selection of items for your auction and you don't know where to turn. Well, this is something new that just came out and it may be the only consigner offering this package. I won't, I won't, uh, I won't bet on that, but, um, but it's certainly new to me. So Trevor had called me, um, gosh, it was a few weeks ago, and he said, hey, we've got this brand new package, you've got to try it, I'm going to send something to you, but first I need to know if you like wine. I said, yeah, I like wine. He said, okay, great, what's your address? I gave him my address, and lo and behold, completely forgot about it, but last Thursday this box showed up on my front door, and I was outside working in the yard, and UPS pulls up, and he says, I need you to sign for this, and I'm like, sign for this? I don't even remember ordering anything. Normally, you know, they just leave it at the front door, no big deal, but he wanted me to sign for this. So, okay, fine, I signed for it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't even remember ordering something that big. What would require this big of a box? And when I went to pick it up and bring it into the house, uh, it's heavy. And so then I was like, okay, well, I have been ordering a lot of like plant fertilizers and different seeds and so forth for outside. And I was trying to think, did I buy anything that would be outside? I don't even remember what this is. So I cut it open and I didn't pull it out because I realized Ooh, this, this is something I wanted to share on video. So I haven't technically unpacked this yet, which is what I'm going to do with you. But after I cut into it and pulled a little bit apart, I was like, oh, this is from Trevor. Now I remember what this is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and get this a little organized so that I can share it with you. Here we go. It was a bit of a struggle getting it out of the box, but I did so. So this is what was inside the box. And then if you take these off, you will see we've got a case of wine. So what the offering is from the consigner is that you have a choice of selecting a couple of different selections of wine straight from Tuscany. And the idea, particularly in this environment where we've got we've got so much that's online, how do you make your online experience offline? We talk about this a lot in the class that I led, the virtual gala class. Uh, I talk about this with my clients. You want to be able to make sure that because everything is so much online now, you've got to somehow create a connection with your audience that's this offline experience. And I think that this really does a nice job of it. So um, in the past, we have sold a ton of Italy trips. And these are trips uh, typically to Cortona, not always, sometimes Rome and other places, but Cortona is pretty typical. And if you know anything about it, uh, Cortona, you know that it is a, a one of the Italian hilltop uh, towns. And when I talk about it in our auctions, I talk about how it's really right in the heart of the wine country, in the heart of Tuscany. Uh, Montepulciano, Montalcino wines, that's really where all of that's from. We talk about the St. Francis of Azizi and how his first monastery is just outside the wall. We talk about the great markets, we talk about the countryside, we talk about the Under the Tuscan Sun movie and book and so forth. So there's a lot that we talk about with Cortona and it's always been an easy sale. And there's big homes there, there's small little villas, lots of ways that you can, can sell uh, Italy and Cortona specifically. And so in this case, what they have done is they've partnered with um, a sommelier and some vineyards over in Cortona. And the idea is that this could, if you were going to sell an Italian package, this could be an add-on to it, or you could just do this separately. And I'm afraid to give pricing, be, oh, not, not that I'm afraid of the cost itself, but I don't know when you watch this video, prices may have gone up or altered in some way. So I'll, 
I'll resist from sharing the price uh, on this video, although I'll probably put it in the blog when I, when I post the blog text. Um, but what you'll do is, if you're interested in this, uh, you'll go ahead and let Trevor know, but then the winning bidder is going to have one of these shipments sent to their home. And he's got a less expensive, and this is the less expensive, this is what they call the classic, uh, classic Tuscany, but then they also have like a high-end Tuscan wines as well. If you've got a real wine crowd, they'd probably be more interested in the higher-end wines. So this is shipped directly to the buyer. So the nice thing about that is we're creating this offline experience as part of your virtual gala. This is something they can enjoy now and get educated about, maybe perhaps before Tuscany. So it's kind of a way, if you package it with that, and these trips, by the way, to Italy, gosh, the expirations on those now are two or three years. They're, they're really far out. So you could pair this with a trip to Tuscany, and this is the offline piece of that. Or you could just, if you've got a, a wine-loving crowd, this might be something that you would look at doing just um, on its own, just on its own. So what you get is you get four different types of wine, and then you will be emailed this. And inside this is tasting notes. I'm just going to, to go with the first wine. As with many different tastings, if you're familiar with those, they tend to they start with the lighter wines and go to the more robust ones. Uh, Super Tuscans, for instance, in this case would be the more robust ones. Um, and we're starting with, um, what are we starting with here? Monte Mercurio, okay. And in, not only do you get these tasting notes, which are quite nice, it talks about the region, it talks about the aging process, it talks a little bit about how you are going to get the best experience with the wine, like what to serve it with and so forth. Um, it gives you some, some tasting notes. I mean, it's just a standard tasting note. But you will also get a video link to listen to Micheli, who is a sommelier in Cortona, and he does a very nice 22 minute video where he takes you through the wines that are in your lot. He talks a little bit about who they are, like the families, the vineyards, uh, when you come to Tuscany, why you would want to go to that specific vineyard. He talks about the types of food that would be good with the wine and why, gives some explanation on that. He also kind of takes you through the regions of Tuscany so that you can appreciate that. For instance, uh, when he was talking about the super Tuscan wines, he talked about how that was something that really came about more in the 1980s and became popular. Uh, he talked about um, the Chiantis and why the Chiantis are so challenging to make and the, the uh, difficulties with getting a really good Chianti. And he talked about what did he, uh, as part of ours, this shipment, it was a Chianti Classico, which is uh, apparently one of the finer Chiantis. And I don't know anything about Chiantis, so that will be a new experience for me. Then he went to the Brunellos, also to the Super Tuscans, talking everything about alcohol content, to the coloration, to just the local stories of the, the vineyards as well. One way that I'm thinking of using this is that I could send, like I could go ahead, if I wanted to have a completely virtual wine tasting with my friends, I've got four different wines here, three different bottles, I could invite two other friends to join me and we could watch the video together and they could enjoy this wine at their home while we watch the video together. Or it could even be that I've got a pretty nice patio and so pretty distanced out as well. So people can use this in different ways, but the point being that you do have enough wine here that you could share if you wanted to. The, the element that made it exciting for me is that I hadn't seen something like this done before. Now, of course, one idea could be you could go ahead and try to do something like this yourself and create something like this within your own region. Depending on where you are, that, that could work. You could pull together a selection of wines and ask somebody to do something similar. I think the fact that it was coming all the way from Italy it just kind of made it more special, honestly. Um, but you could try to create something like this within your own community. Pricing of the wines, you know, I, again, that's, that's really so dependent upon where you are. If I'm in Kansas, a $150 bottle of wine is selling for $50 if I cross over to the state of Missouri. Uh, state laws and taxes are so ridiculous uh, that it just depends on what state you're in as to whether or not the bottle of wine is expensive or not. Um, so that, that'll vary depending on where you are. And then of course also, you have to know your state laws. You have to know whether or not you can do something like this. And I, I don't even want to delve into that in this video because again, there's 
50 states and thousands of municipalities with their own rules, so I can't speak to all of that. But I do know that for a number of my clients, something like this, especially at the price point he's offering it, we could sell a lot of these and make some serious money for my clients. So for those that this is an appropriate package for, I'm gonna be talking to them about this. I love the fact that we get these tasting notes. I love the fact that we get this video um, that, that uh, really educates us because and Kelly, you know, being being Italian, it makes you feel it's a well done video. The video has some background music and he's there in a little shop that is in Cortona, just right there in the main market square. And he takes you through the wines and the stories and all of that. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, I would say check this out, call Trevor. Uh, it's a it's a win win, I think, for, for you and your winning bidder. And if you're looking for other great auction ideas, hey, go ahead and sign up, subscribe, get my e-zine, my newsletter, and every other week I'll be rolling out, as I have for 10 years, some content about auction galas and how to make yours off the charts. As always, good luck to you in your benefit auction.